Hi guys, welcome to the shop. I'm Mike. Today we're going to fix this scaffolding leg. Um, it's for a, a sign company, top sign company out there, Speedy, Speedy Signs in Henderson. Give them a call in Auckland if you need any um, sign writing. This is the leg that goes out the side of the scaffolding. It's aluminium. On, on this side, this tab has broken off. I'll bring you in and have a look. It takes the same clamp as that, but they've snapped it off. I'll bring you in for a closer look. So what we got, this tab has sheared off. It's a cast aluminium cast tab. They asked if I could weld it back up for them. And I said, no, I wouldn't trust my welding on a piece of cast alloy, um, especially when it's on the side of a scaffolding. It's, it's just to, to stop the scaffolding from tilting, so they adjust this up and down. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, the existing one has been pushed down and then crimped in. There's two crimps here. So I'm actually going to cut it off here. Once I've cut it off out of this piece of aluminium, I'll turn a new piece to go in there with a flange on it and then I'll mill it down. It's got a, a boss on it there or a spigot and I'll do that on the rotary table on the milling machine. Okay, so the first job is, the, is to put this in the band, so we'll cut it off, get this out, and then we can start doing some measurements. All right, I'm set up in the bandsaw. You know, these little bandsaws, I bought this one second hand, and it has had a pair of work. They are such a great investment. I would have hated to cut all of the work that I've cut on this by hand. Hollow. Okay, so that's the piece we've cut off. That's, this is just a little sketch I'm going to do. I won't need much more than that. You're upside down. Okay, so we're going to go and first of all, we'll go over to the lathe and start working on this, turning it down to the appropriate size, and then the milling machine. Right, we've set up over here in the lathe. I whacked off that, um, it had a lip on it, I've taken that off. So we want to bring that down to 50. Yeah, it varies. I'll put my micrometer on it. Close enough. So now we'll take that out, spin it around, and cut the other side. This end is going to be the outside end. Where are we? I don't know if you can see that. So next, I'm actually going to cut a circle for this piece here because this is at this end, and it's 37 long. So we'll sneak it in. All right. No. 
That's bang on. Beautiful. It's just nice to hit numbers, isn't it? So now we're going to turn it over and machine the back out of it. Here's my six there. This is my old calipers. Don't worry. Right, so we'll put a chamfer on that. Okay, I'm off to, I'll take it out and go and fit it and then set it up in the mill. I'm going to take all my measurements from the flange here. This side. So I've halved my Y axis. And touch off my x axis. Zero that. So the end of my edge finder is 5mm. So I'm going to take half that off and then I'm over that edge. Instead of 3 on the edges. I'm still centered up the same place. That's a bit different. Should have used that in the start. Right, I'm going to bring it down to my 8, which is my measurement before, and then I've, that's the top of the flange. Got a I, over I got a little bit close, I've got a very fine, but I'll just buff that out because that's right up there. So now I need to take a bit off each side here. That's a bit annoying. Put a little gouge in that side. So now I'm going to put my drill in, my drill chuck in, and I'm going to drill a ten, drill and ream a 10 mil hole there. Okay, I think I missed that. So what I did, I'll just bring that out. I just realized I turned the, when I turned the camera off, it was on. Hmm. So I know that that is my zero. I'll go back to my zero there. And then I came out 22. And then drilled a hole because I'm on, I'm on center because of, I already am on centre on the y-axis. So now I'm going to drill a 9mm hole and then a 10mm, I shall go 9.5 and then a 10mm reamer.
Okay, so we've got a nice 10 mil hole. I'm going to make a plug that'll fit into that, into the center of the rotary table, and then that way I can do my edges. And I've got a this little boss. I can do that. So I'm going to go and do that on the lathe, and then we'll set up the rotary table. So I'll bring you guys back once I'm all set up. So I've got my rotary table set up. I've got it centered. I used this. This came with the rotary table. So it's got a taper and a center point in for centering. So that just drops in on a taper into there. You can do your centering off that. Or you could do it off the bore of that. So what I've made up, I've made a taper, the same taper. That just drops into the taper. It's got a 10 mil spigot on the top. That this is my reamed hole which will fit onto there. And I've just got a little packer because of this lip. And then I will strap clamp. Well, a bit of bar I've made up will go over and lock that in place. I'll lock that in place and then I will machine the top off and I will ma machine the curve. So I'll get all this locked down and then I'll bring you back. So I've got my these two sides and obviously this is 90 degrees. I've got this parallel to the movement. I go up to the end, you'll see that needle pop up. If I go under that, if I go off the end, she drops down. So I'm pretty parallel there. So we'll take that off. Put that back in the container. Okay, let's cut a circle. Right, beautiful. So that's that's that part cut. Now I'm all set up to cut a semicircle on the end here.
Right, let's do a semicircle on the end. Okay, I'm going to have to finish that with the file, that little bit. Because as soon as I unbolt it, it's going to move. I've got to turn it over anyway, so I'll turn it over and do the boss on the other side. And I'll just touch this up with the file. Okay, so over on the drill press, I've drilled an 8mm hole. And an 8mm hole. So we're all finished making this up now. Replace this broken one. Put it on the end, put my bolt through, and I've got a nylock nut on this side. So we're done come out great. I'll take it back to them tomorrow. They've just, these are the guys that make my stickers up, so I better send it back with a sticker they made me to go onto it. Great. I'll bring you around here and show you that finished. Thanks for coming along guys. I hope you enjoyed this. It was a fun one that I could use my rotary table and we'll see you on the next one.